First up on the show, well, the Israeli Defense Forces in Gaza have been forced to contend with a sophisticated maze of underground tunnels and bunkers built by Hamas. Military experts call the tunnels a formidable defense system. Here's how Israel is tackling the threat. After locating entrances to the Hamas tunnels, Israeli army engineers have detonated an exploding gel in the passages. As per Israeli military officers, Tel Aviv's policy is not to send personnel inside tunnels. Hamas is expected to have booby-trapped some of these tunnels. The underground fighting gives a tactical advantage to the Hamas militants. Instead of engaging in below-ground hand-to-hand combat, the plan is to turn the Hamas bunkers, shafts and tunnels into death traps. Uh, when not using munitions, the Israeli armed forces opt for tracker robots and other remotely operated technology. Israeli officers say the, that destroying an access shaft is relatively easy and quick. The Israeli military has said last week that 130 shafts had been destroyed but gave no figure for uh, the demolished tunnels. Several tons of exploding gel brought in by trucks are required for every few hundred meters of tunnels, uh, tunnel care. Uh, care is being taken not to endanger the tunnels that may contain hostages. Since 2014, Hamas has been digging underground pathways to get around its territory. Some tunnels are as deep as 100 to 130 feet below the ground level and allowing militants to evade strikes, rocket batteries hidden a few meters beneath the surface can be uncovered with a trapdoor just for the time it takes for a fire to be, uh, to be made. Uh, it could take months for the Israelis to destroy Gaza's entire underground network.